What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV Daily, your source for daily tech news. Make sure you subscribe so you know what's going on in the world of tech. Let's get into the news. The first story of the day is about the Google Home Mini. Now, when the Google Home Mini first came out, it came out for the retail price of $49 and it has decent reviews. I've done a review on it, showed it. So uh, if you check my channel and search Google Home Mini, you will definitely find some videos on it. Well, the cool thing about it right now is starting on maybe Black Friday it was, it dropped down to $29 with a $10 electronic gift card to basically whatever store you bought it from, Best Buy or Target or whatever store. But the interesting thing is it's going to stay at that $29 price. You might not still get that $10 gift card after a certain amount of time, but $29 will be the price for the rest of 2017. So if you're interested in getting into the smart speaker game or into the Google ecosystem more, Google Home Mini is a perfect uh, speaker to get into with it for 29 bucks for sure. I have one of them and uh, it's not the loudest sounding speaker. It sounds decent, especially it being so small and I can still give it commands to turn on my lights, to uh, ask it trivia questions, play music, so it's amazing. And uh, what I do with all my Google Homes, I actually have them all connected because you can create groups if you have more than one Google Home. You can create groups and create, so you have this massive speaker system all around your house. That is what I, what I have going on. It's one of my favorite things about. Next up, if you have a OnePlus, five and you want android oreo the first beta version of that has been released and you can flash it onto your one plus five so all you gotta do is click on the link in the description down below it'll bring you to one plus's blog and there's instructions on how to apply that oreo update to your phone now if this is your main phone i don't know if i would put beta on it just to be sure that there's not no bugs in case of an emergency or some apps that you definitely need to work so be careful if you do install the Android Oreo update on your OnePlus 5. And the last story of the day is a leak out of Samsung of when all their devices, if you know specifically which devices, will have Android 8.0. It doesn't say when they'll get it, but which devices will get it. So we'll start at the Galaxy S series. Everything from the S8, 7, 6, and 6 Edge Plus will all get Android 8.0. As for the Note series, you're looking at in uh, Galaxy Note 8, 7, and Note 5 will all have Android 8. And then beyond that, it, the next popular line of devices would probably be uh, the Tab series. So if you have a tablet from the Tab S3, Tab S2, AA, and uh, also the Tab Active 2 will all get Android 8, also known as Oreo. Now what makes that impressive is that's over 37 devices that they're going to update to Android 8. It's very impressive by Samsung. Guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. New videos every single day. My question of the day is, you know, you have one of these devices that's usually a non, uh, you know, Google device, have it be a Samsung device or a LG or a Sony or some other device from Android. Does it piss you off or bother you in any way when you're not always up to date with the newest version of Android? Let me know in the comments down below. Guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. New videos every single day. I'll see you down the road. Peace.